This is the charging cord for the laptop in itself. It's a big old brick, I believe 30 watt brick to be exact. 85 watt to be exact. And the only cool thing about it is this was able to go up and down and you can take that part out. What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? I hope you guys are having an awesome day enjoying yourselves out there. And today we're here to talk about MacBook Pro. I'm actually using a MacBook Pro 2012 to be exact. Model number A1278, brick one. And my reason for this video is I'm gonna be upgrading pretty soon. I wanna showcase to you guys in 2025 some of the features of this laptop, model number A1278, MacBook Pro, of course, might not be so user-friendly, even though it has everything that you do need. You don't need a docking station for it, like I mentioned before, but it's a little slower than usual, and it's unable to update to the top quality operating system, MacBook operating systems than that they are now. So let me get into the video further so I can surface everything to you guys and show you exactly all the different features and all the little cool stuff that I'm using in 2025 that could still be relevant today. You didn't need a docking station, that's one piece, but I'll showcase that to you guys further. Let's get into the video guys, let's go. All right, all right, all right guys, this is the MacBook Pro in question, to say the least. I have a cover on mine. As you can see here, it's pretty covered. Let me try to take that off so I can show you. It's the 13 inch version, mid 2020, mid 2012, sorry, not 2020. It's pretty, pretty old. The battery life now is literally about five hours a day at most. And this is the ethernet port. There's a few other ports out there, Firewire ports and obviously USB. It doesn't have HDMI, but you can plug in, you can plug in uh, over here, you can plug in a docking station and have HDMI if you'd like for sure. And also it has a CD-ROM drive. Let me see if I can take this cover off breaking apart this thing is pretty old but as you could see you could see the macbook logo on it it's pretty old it's breaking apart so i don't want to really mess it up more than it needs to be so let me give you some specs on it system specs are as follows here it's a 16 gig memory Intel HD graphics card, 2.5 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor, pretty much, and it's 13.3 inch display. Obviously, we mentioned the Intel HD graphic card, and the storage is 500 gig storage memory 16 gig of course it runs pretty efficiently it runs pretty well it does stuff like the little stuff very very good but the issue that i'm running with it is it takes times to load obviously because it's much older 2012 and it's time for me to get a new one for sure it's time for me to upgrade to the newer laptops that are around now and the cool part about this is uh, I might still end up keeping this is because of the CD-ROM drive. You can actually add CDs inside of it, you know, use it very, very efficiently in that facet. So that's actually very, very cool in itself. Obviously it has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi. It works perfect, it has AirPlay it works definitely perfect um, for a laptop of its age. It's definitely heavy. 
It's a brick, as you can see, the bottom is a very heavy part components down there. What you can see there. And like I mentioned before, it makes a lot of noise because the hard drive takes a few minutes to load. And the color, I believe, is gray. It's completely gray. Yes. Okay. I was able to take the was able to take the cover off of it, the protector, because obviously that's what works. And that is also removable. So it's perfect. Very easy to use. I like this little pad thingy as well. Um, the keyboard pad because it protects all the the backlit keyboard from getting all crumbs and all sorts of stuff dump into it. So while you're eating, if, you, you, if you're doing some work, you wanna get rid of something, you could just get rid of it by just shaking this keyboard mat off of it. That's pretty cool as well. But that's pretty much how cool this laptop, this laptop gets. This is as cool as it's gonna get. There's nothing cooler about it, especially Back in the days, they were pretty good, very, very recommended, just like the new ones now. But um, to be honest with you, no, I, there's no, there's no use for any of this stuff anymore. It takes a little bit of a, it takes a long time for it to load. Sometimes it's when you're trying to load up some specific software or some specific things it takes is it you know it takes a sweet time to do that that can get quite frustrating but to make a long story short it's definitely efficient i've used this pretty much to upload music to rip cds old cds that i have that's what i've used this right now for this pretty much has a media aspect of things. My old videos, old music, storage, pictures, and things of that nature are pretty much uploaded onto this thing. And I can actually transfer them into my Windows laptop. My Windows laptop also do needs upgrading. I will do a review of that as well when I buy a new one, of course. But this one is actually what I'm working with for now until something new comes along. I think I have something new coming tomorrow, to be honest with you. So I'll be reviewing that as soon as I get it. I'll do the unboxing and the review. Things will be quite different. Obviously this I'm using the optical mouse for. This is actually very cheap. I'll leave the link for the mouse in the description below. I'll also leave the link for this laptop in the link below as well, if I'm able to find one, but I doubt that I'll be able to find one in this great condition. This is the charging cord for the laptop in itself. It's a big old brick, I believe 30 watt brick to be exact, 85 watt to be exact. And the only cool thing about it is this was able to go up and down and you can take that part out and that was the only cool thing about it. There's really not much cooler features. That's what you paid for in 2012, pretty much. And you were able to use these little prongs over here to hold your wires all together. So you can actually charge your laptop. And that was the port, the charging port, pretty much. And that little plastic thing that they no longer make as well. So that's pretty much that in a nutshell as far as charging the, the charging port is concerned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's not really um, much to say about this laptop. It's time for an upgrade for sure.